Chinese state media released the latest video of the J-20, showing images of the two equipments in extremely high definition, which drew many people's attention. The first equipment is the J-20's PL-10 missile launcher, and the second is the J-20's latest serrated engine nozzle. I'm going to sharing my analysis with you. Before going any further, I really need your help, please subscribe to my channel, share and comment on my videos, thank you. Let's start with the J-20's PL-10 missile launcher. In the video, we can see the launcher at an angle never seen before. Straight ahead. The PL-10 missile launching system behind the J-20's air intake consists of three main parts. A weapon bay built into the fuselage, an upwardly opened hatch, and a cleverly designed extendable PL-10 missile pylon. The PL-10 is a dogfight air-to-air -air missile, J-20 has a unique launcher that uses a rotating mechanism for the two PL-10 missiles on board. When the missile is ready to launch, the door of the weapon bay is opened, and the rotating mechanism turns the missile launcher out of the weapon bay. At this time, the door can be closed, while the missile and launcher remain outside the weapon bay. This design is much more advanced than the AIM-9 missile bay of the US F-22 fighter. Compared with the F-22, the Chinese design has several advantages. First, it has a better stealth capability, only the missile and the pylon are exposed before the missile is launched, while the missile bay with strong radar signal is obscured. Second, the air drag is reduced, the launcher and missile are pointing to the flight direction, and the US design have a certain staggered angle with the flight direction, resulting in more complex force-bearing situation with excessive drag, reduced flight speed and flexibility, high structure strength requirements of the launcher, the weight is also greater. Third, the design of the J-20 allows the PL-10 missile to stay out of the fuselage for a relatively long time, making it more likely that the infrared-guided missile will be able to track and capture targets. Fourth, the reliability is higher because the force applied to the launcher is smaller, therefore the possibility of damage or failure is reduced. Fifth, it avoids the problem that the F-22 might need to use a complex and unreliable missile launch mode, which requires firing the missile first, then search and lock on the target later. It is worth mentioning that the PL-10 is China's most advanced dogfight air-to-air -air missile, which uses advanced thermal imaging guidance, has good anti-countermeasure ability, high maneuverability, and can effectively counter the most advanced fighter jets. In addition to the launcher, the video once again shows the J-20's latest serrated engine nozzle. Initially, the J-20's nozzles were similar to conventional fighter jets and did not have a serrated trailing edge. The serrated design is already used on the American F-35 fighter jet. Now, the J-20 has the same feature. Analysts believe that the design's biggest effect is to enhance rear-facing stealth characteristics, reducing the radar reflection intensity of the engine nozzle, dispersing in more directions, and also helping to reduce the infrared signature. This is because the serrated edge can improve the mixing efficiency of the engine's high-temperature exhaust and the outside cold air, thereby reducing the high-temperature characteristics and optimizing the spectrum of infrared radiation making it more difficult for enemy infrared sensors to detect the infrared signal of the J-20. It is a technical achievement to materialize radar and infrared stealth simultaneously on the jet engine nozzle, which is with extremely high temperature. Some believe China has made a breakthrough in ceramic-based composites, the material basis for the new nozzle. At the same time, the J-20's nozzle length appears to have shortened, allowing the equipment to be better shaded by the fuselage structure and tail fins, further depressing radar and infrared signatures. In the future, J-20 may add vector thrust control equipment on this basis, so as to obtain better flight performance. Thank you again for watching my video. At this stage, the traffic of my channel is still very low. If the channel doesn't grow fast enough, it will be very difficult for me to continue. If you'd like to help me out, please subscribe to my channel and share and comment on my videos. And please check my channel homepage in one or two days for new video, I aim for publishing video at least once every two days.